Hello, welcome to my first YouTube video for arting, which is looking at a beautiful painting called Antibes by Claude Monet. Now, this painting is from 1888 and it's a painting looking towards the Estoril Mountains in the south of France from Antibes. Um, Monet spent some time there and painted quite a few different views of Antibes. So this one is of a maritime pine tree uh, going out sort of across the water slightly. And when specialists have x-rayed the painting, the canvas, they saw that he had originally put the tree in the centre, but then moved it off to the left to sort of frame the scene. So you can see the beautiful tree and then these branches are just running alongside the top of the mountains. So originally it would have been in the middle and would have broken up the painting into two halves, but he's moved it slightly to the left. So now it sort of frames this whole section. Um, that's a slightly Japanese influence because you can see the painting just runs off on each side and it leaves you thinking, I wonder what is here and I wonder what is there. What's going on outside of my field of vision? Um, and in one of his letters he wrote when he was in Antibes he wrote what I bring back from here will be sweetness itself white, pink and blue all enveloped in this magical air which is just for me sums up you can see there's a slight pinkness in the mountains and obviously there's lots and lots of blues and whites and you feel like there's a hazy sunshine so that the air, that the sun is just catching on the trees up here. It's a slightly goldeny, pinky yellow up here in the corner. And you feel like it's a warm day and it's quite clear, but then there's this slight pinky mist across the mountains. So the use of colour and light is my favourite part. Um, I love the dashes. You can see lots of greens and blues lines across here to give all this lovely texture and then in this foreground where the rocks is really quite bold marks of really quite dark blue and green and it looks a bit rocky maybe a little bit of sandstone and dark sand and then you've got the more delicate brush strokes slightly curved of the trees which has got lots of blue in it and we all know a tree isn't blue but it helps to tie it all together that there's this blue, 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 but it's all different. So it makes the piece feel really cohesive and harmonious, which I think is why I love it so much. So there we have Monet's Antibes. Uh, it's a beautiful maritime pine stretching across the canvas, making us gaze out into the distant mountains, but also bringing us into the scene as if we could be standing on that beach looking out across on a warm summer's day. The sea is about two thirds of the way down and it gives us plenty of space for this top band of, of the feature of the tree which is the main part and then you've got these beautiful little rocks just here giving their own little section underneath the tree. You think maybe I could paddle out to those rocks Maybe there's things swimming around those rocks. So there's a story. There's a story of somebody standing on the coast, looking across on a beautiful day. And it's in the Courthole Gallery. It did move around last year. It went to Hull Ferrens. So I have seen it in real life a couple of times. And it's as breathtaking as you can imagine to see it in real life. So if you ever get a chance to go and see it, I highly recommend it because it is a beautiful painting. So that is the end of my little mini analysis of Antibes and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.